What are the types of chemical bonds? Ionic bonds are formed between ions. Metals form cations, positive ions, and nonmetals form anions, negative ions. This is due to the transfer of electrons from the metal to the nonmetal. An ionic bond is the result of the attraction between these two opposite charges. A covalent bond is between nonmetals. Rather than transferring electrons to form ions, electrons are shared. Polar covalent bonds are between nonmetals and are the result of sharing electrons as well. However, the electrons are pulled more by one nucleus than the other and are therefore shared unevenly. A metallic bond is when metal atoms are together with a pool of electrons that are free to move and flow throughout the network. The different types of bonds have different properties depending on what the electrons are doing. Ionic compounds are formed when a metal transfers an electron to a nonmetal. This results in high melting points, brittle compounds that often dissolve in water, and compounds that conduct electricity when they are dissolved in water. Covalent compounds are formed when two nonmetals share electrons evenly. They are low melting points, they do not often dissolve in water, and if they do dissolve in water, they do not conduct electricity. Polar covalent compounds are when two nonmetals share electrons unevenly. They have medium melting points. Some compounds dissolve in water, but if they do dissolve, they do not conduct electricity. Metallic compounds are formed between metal atoms, and they have a large pool of electrons that are shared with all the atoms in the network. This results in soft solids, conductors of heat and electricity, and compounds that do not dissolve in water. How is bond polarity determined? A polar bond is an uneven sharing of electrons. Electrons are pulled more towards the more electronegative atom. Electronegativity is the pull an atom has for electrons it's sharing in a bond. This causes the more electronegative atom to have a slightly negative charge as there are more electrons closer to the, its nucleus. In this example, oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. The electrons will move slightly closer to the oxygen. This will leave carbon with a partial positive charge and the oxygens with a partial negative charge. Electronegativity increases as you move from left to right across a period and decreases from top to bottom down a group. It's useful to know the electronegativity values of the more common elements. They are shown here. Hydrogen is 2.1, carbon 2.5, nitrogen 3.0, oxygen 3.5, fluorine is 4.0, sulfur is 2.5, chlorine is 3.0, and bromine is 2.8. How is bond polarity determined? First, look up the electronegativity value of each atom. Next, determine the absolute value of the difference in the electronegativities. If the difference is 0 to 0.4, it's a nonpolar covalent bond. 0.5 to 1.4 is a polar covalent bond. Above 1.4, they share so unevenly that it becomes a full transfer of electrons and an ionic bond is formed. If there is a polar bond, indicate it with an arrow being drawn towards the more electronegative element. Place a cross on the tail. This shows the element that has a slightly positive charge. For example, determine if a carbon-hydrogen bond is polar. 
The electronegativity for carbon is 2.5. Hydrogen is 2.1. The difference is 0 0.4. This is a nonpolar bond. Carbon and nitrogen. Carbon is 2.5. Nitrogen is 3.0. The absolute value of this difference is 0 0.5. It is a polar bond. The arrow is drawn towards the more electronegative atom and the cross is used on the more positively charged atom in the polar bond. Polar bonds do not necessarily mean a polar molecule. If the polar bonds cancel out, as in carbon dioxide, then the overall molecule is nonpolar. Water also has two polar bonds, however they do not cancel out. There is an overall polarity to the water molecule. It is important when determining if polar bonds cancel out to envision the molecule as it actually exists. If water is drawn horizontally, the polar bonds appear to cancel. However, it does not exist in that shape, but rather it's bent. The 3D structure of the molecules will be discussed in a future tutorial. How do you determine the bond type? Follow the flow chart of the four bond types. Compounds containing metals and nonmetals are ionic. Those containing nonmetals only, with an electronegativity difference of 0.4 or lower, are covalently bonded. Those with a greater electronegativity difference have polar covalent bonding. Compounds containing metals only use metallic bonding. Watch three examples of determining the bond type. Potassium and oxygen. This is a metal and a nonmetal. It will be ionic bonding. Carbon and oxygen. Two nonmetals. Carbon's electronegativity is 2.5. Oxygen is 3.5. The difference is greater than 0.4. Therefore, this is a polar covalent bond. Carbon and sulfur. Two nonmetals. Carbon is 2.5 for electronegativity. Sulfur is also 2.5. There's no difference. This will be a covalent or nonpolar covalent bond.